So this is Nikki and I'm using this lovely cut file which was provided free by Annette and I don't know whether I'm going to say her surname correctly so I apologise in advance Glensky, Glenska for Scrap Academy and as you can see I've already backed it using just pieces of paper from my scrap paper collection I find back and cut files such a great way to use up those scraps and I'm going to use some of these Lindy Stamp Gang magical powders now to do a bit of a watercolouring effect in the background obviously if you haven't got those watercolours would work just as well and once again I'm using the Vicky Bootin um, foundation paper now you're probably saying why didn't you use a bigger brush and that's exactly what I'm saying to myself as well it would have been so much easier if I'd use a bigger brush they're quite um, they're, I suppose these these powders here you don't need that much of them because they are quite pigmented I suppose and they come out quite deep the colour so I just keep adding water and sort of shuffling them about and I must be honest I look like a little bit of an amateur because I am an amateur with this sort of thing I, it's not something I do a great deal not for big sort of spaces but I wanted this cut file to look like it was a house on a hill on a sunny day because we have so much sun in Wales obviously well we are having a great deal of sun at the moment actually we're quite lucky so I'm just using some of the green then which I think is merry-go-round green just to do the grass down the bottom and I'm mixing it in this little palette here once again really small brush to make it much easier on yourselves just use a wider paintbrush and you'll get it done much quicker and I just sort of keep putting the cut file back on there just to see how much more I need to paint I put that aside to, to dry now but I actually add some more um, mixed media to it and this is a really old piece of pink paisley paper because I've been trying to bust my old papers and this is out of my scrap box so none of the pieces of paper I use in this layout are bigger pieces at all and they're all quite old actually and I just sort of thought about what sort of colours I like and that's what I'm going for and the house picture that I'm using that's my husband we're building our own house at the moment and he's up on the on the second floor the bottom floor is all garage which is his workshop so I thought it was quite nice because we are actually building a house on a hill actually into a hill which isn't quite so nice because that comes with its own set of problems so I'm just trying to speed the drying process along now with my heat gun and at some point I'm going to decide that I need some more and I decided also here that I'm going to paint the leaves of my flowers and I think why am I doing it on my background so I use my little silicon sheet then and as you can see I'm not doing anything fancy I'm incapable of doing fancy things in mixed media to be honest but it's just adding some of the paper and I've actually cut this cut file just out of American craft cardstock so it hasn't been treated in any way and I just thought that that added that was a little bit better then I'm going to colour in um, some of the I think I do the trunk of the tree just with pattern paper though and I'll add some to the flowers later on so here we are I've added as you can see I've done the flowers I've added some brown and it's actually wood grain paper that I had in my scrap book box to the back of the tree and as you can see I'm just using Tombow on the bigger sections that, that is the easiest part if you're gonna cut um, back a cut file it does give you bigger spaces to add your glue on but I still as you can see I still haven't finished painting down so I'll do that later I'm doing it all a bit backwards at the moment just using my ATG gun then as a bit of a weight to stick it down I'm just painting in where the um what would that be the road couldn't think what it's called then where the road would be. As you can see, I'm not being at all careful. In fact, watching myself work, I can see the children in school. <laughs> so I want the picture to be at the bottom, but I think at this sort of point I've decided that I do need to add a little bit more green. But as I say, that was there we go, or oh, as if by magic, that's the rest of it painted. 
all the backing is done with scrap papers and any pieces I suppose smaller than an inch I tend to throw out unless they're really useful for um, stamping sentiments or cards so if they're white little pieces I tend to keep those I used to keep absolutely everything and then you get to the point where you can't keep it all so I'm going to use this um, this is actually a project life card and I'm going to cut the words apart to use then as my title so it says home sweet home using my wonderful I love that trimmer from Staples very much a cheapy really easy to change the blade on it but saying that I think I've, I've had the same trimmer for about 10 years I think I've changed the blade twice in that time so um, it is longer lasting so I've just got a little bit of fun foam now and I don't buy the um, adhesive backed one because I find it too expensive I just buy the cheapy ones from the works or home bargains or wherever I find it it's like that at the back of my picture just to sort of raise it up a bit and I find when you're using a big cut file there's not a great deal left to embellish then so I try to keep my embellishments to a minimum in fact I can't think that I add many more embellishments to it so there we go and then I'm just going to add those little cut pieces from the project life card and that's going to be my title so although cut files can be quite fiddly to back they are well worth the effort and if you notice with the houses I just used one piece of paper so it wasn't too bad at all so I've just raised those up on foam pads then just like I've raised my photo up but it is such a lovely cut file so it's Annette Glenska I think and it's absolutely stunning to you. So take care and I shall see you all soon. Hi, Val, friendly eye.